Hey, Alan Rowland again. I want to continue with another short presentation on some of the early leaders in Walker County in Jasper, Alabama. And today my short presentation will deal with one of the uh, uh, Confederate soldiers from my area. His name was John Chappelle Hutto. Let me show you what he looks like here. And this was a photograph that was taken probably right as the Civil War was uh, taking place, or maybe even a little bit before, maybe a little bit after. I just do not know. But this is what he looked like here, and you'll find very few photographs of uh, John C. Hutto. And by the way, Hutto is a, a rather popular name uh, if you're in the southern parts of Walker County, around the Parish, Oakman area, Liberty Hill area. Uh, you'll find a number of people that have Hutto as their name. And anyway, for uh, John C. Hutto, he was born you know, 25th of August in 1830, that's in the Abbeville District of South Carolina. If you're not sure where that is, and I'm sure you probably passed through this area of South Carolina, where Anderson, South Carolina, Greenville, Spartanburg, it's in that area. And he would pass away at age 56 on 15th of May, 1887, buried in Liberty Hill Cemetery. Now, if you want to go to Liberty Hill Cemetery today, uh, you need to get on Highway 69, head out of Oakland, go towards Tuscaloosa. And about, oh, I guess four or five miles before you get to the Tuscaloosa County line, you'll see a sign there that says Liberty Hill, Liberty Hill uh, Church. And if you'll take that left there, you know, and go a mile or so, you can find where the uh, Captain Hutto, Major Hutto, is, is buried. He was married to Elizabeth Hutto, 1837, 1903 was her life. And uh, before the Civil War started, uh, John Hutto was a farmer. That was so typical of Walker County at that time. But during the Civil War, he recruited Company K of the 50th Alabama Infantry as Confederate States of America, by the way. And as so typically happens there, when you're the one that recruits the company, you become the captain of the company. At that time, elections were who determined your uh, junior officers. Uh, and for that matter, even uh, some of your senior officers. Uh, later, he was promoted to uh, major. Uh, if you read the history on Company K, 50th Alabama, or just 50th Alabama in general, you'll find that originally they were part of the 38th Tennessee Regiment, and then later they separated and became separate uh, uh, regiment themselves known as the 50th and quite frankly it was known as the 26th 50th Alabama Regiment and I, I don't know a whole lot about uh, Major Hutto, Captain Hutto and his uh, uh, battlefield assignments anyway you just can't find that information too much anyway about the 50th Alabama but following the war he returned to Walker County and he resumed uh, became, becoming a farmer. Uh, later, he became a businessman in Marietta, Alabama. If you're not sure where Marietta, Alabama is, all right, let's uh, take ourselves to Oakman. And, and as if you're going to Tuscaloosa, you're on Highway 69, you leave out of Oakman, you go about a mile and a half uh, out of Oakman, you know, towards Berry, and where you take the left and cross the railroad tracks on 69 going uh, toward uh, Tuscaloosa is where a lumber yard is. And right there at that intersection where the railroad tracks are, where you took the left, that area is called Marietta. You can kind of see with a little bit of imagination that there was a former uh, community present there. Uh, by 1878, John C. Hutto was elected as a one term representative in the Alabama legislature. All right, he was also a Mason, and he was a member of the Primitive Baptist Church. And what you'll find is many of these, many of these young men at that time were uh, members of the Mason, of the Masonic Order. All right, I'll share a, a, two more photographs with you here. Uh, I dug this photograph out. I found it. It's a group of Civil War veterans. I don't know if they're in downtown Jasper. I'm assuming that they are anyway. And in fact, that's uh, John Hutto right there. Uh, Major Hutto, all these Civil War veterans that are surrounding you here. I don't know the uh, date on this photograph. I would imagine it's probably around 1909, but I'm not really certain about that. And if you go to Liberty Hill today, sorry, I'll put that at my wrist in front of me. But if you go to Liberty Hill today, you can find a burial site there of John Hutto and his wife. Uh, there he is right there. All right, so anyway, we'll wrap up that short presentation there uh, on another uh, one of the uh, early, early leaders here of Walker County, Alabama. Thank you very much for your attention.